Lash Fun Unboxing. And I chose for the month, month of March, Shalebrook Acres. So Valerie, this is your box. Thank you so much. Um, she was such a sweetheart when I was placing my order. Um, she just made the uh, tapioca hearts and put those on her site. And I meant to order one, and it's a smaller, smaller soap. And uh, I wanted to add it, but I couldn't figure out how to add it. And because my order was what it was, she, instead of a soap dish, which I have lots of, she gave me one of those. I can't wait to see the tapioca heart soap. That one is one that I'm really excited for. She also, she's the one who taught me probably the most about hot process countertop fluid soap. Um, so I'm really, oh, look how nicely she packaged it. So it's, oh, oh, there's a knife. There's a note in here. I love notes. Dear Jennifer, a pleasure talking with you. Thank you so kindly for your order. I hope you enjoy. Big hugs. Shellbrook. So it's a Shellbrook. Just make sure you see that. Um, she's on the East Coast and I'm on the West Coast. So I, I don't, I never even get to go to her store. Ooh, there's samples on top. Oh my goodness. I'm going to open the samples first because Previews are so fun. Oh my goodness, Ooh, this is a pretty one. Mmm, that's nice. Here. Here, I'm just gonna come forward so you can see how pretty and how fine her workmanship is. It is incredible. And she uses a lot of um, ingredients in her soap. And all of them are there for a reason. Um, so I'm gonna find out why she uses what she uses. This, this, Satsuma Silk. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. Let me show you this. It's really nice. It's a little soap ball. Probably, I always, yeah. Oh, that's nice. That is really nice. That's super silk. Did I drop? That one didn't have a. So I'm not sure what this pink one is, but it's awesome. Whatever it is, it's beautiful. Oh, here it is. It's paper roses. That one is paper roses. So she did tell me what they were. So paper roses and Satsuma silk. Oh, so I've been playing with. She taught me how to do this too. Um, she sent me to the lady who taught her um, how to make the um, this little packaging. These are great. And I'm gonna be really careful and try not to tear it because it's so pretty. But you can leave yourself naked. And it's just on regular paper, it looks like. But this one is the tapioca hearts. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. So this has castor oil and coconut oil, olive oil and palm oil, water, coconut milk, glycerin and cocoa butter, Greek yogurt, aloe vera juice, sugar, maple syrup, kale and clay, tapioca powder, sea salt, fragrance oil, which is rice flour shea. And she really highly recommended that rice flour shea. And I really, really like that. Oh, she's got a Bible verse on here too. That is really, really, really pretty. John 14, 6. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So yeah, she's a Christian show soaper, which is wonderful. So here's the tapioca hearts. Now this is hot process, guys. This isn't cold process. Her soap is absolutely incredible. Sorry about that, guys. So it's a Bastille tapioca heart soap. There it is. I'm going to tuck that back in. My sister gave me, she, she does a lot of um, digital scrapbooking, but she buys paper, like scrapbooking paper. My younger sister, Sarah, she's an incredible digital artist. Um, 
it wasn't for her, our family wouldn't have any pictures, I swear. Um, but she gave me all of the paper that she scanned. And so I've been playing with that for, maybe not this fancy, but this, this is awesome. I really like this. I really like this. That is beautiful. So that's the Bastille Cole. <laughs> Still cards. Tapia cards. Okay, the next one is, ooh, this is a nice heavy jar, 170 grams. Um, and this is Love Your Skin as Good Soap, a Good For You Soap. So this is what it looks like. Isn't this beautiful? I mean, you go to, you go to some, some stores and it's just a chunk of soap. This has a story. Um, all right, so this one has almond and avocado and castor and coconut and olive and palm, mango butter, shea butter, stearic acid, tallow, marshmallow root tea. See what I told you? She does these, these wonderful, um, um, wonderful teas and things. Sea buckthorn tea, plantain tea. Now, I know plantain is amazing. I use that in my African soap and it's a plantain. If you haven't tried that, you need to. Coconut milk, rice milk. Greek yogurt, aloe vera juice, apple cider vinegar. Now that's one I haven't tried yet. And um, I'm sure it's really good, especially for a hair soap. Glycerin, apricot kernel oil, meadow foam oil, sea buckthorn oil, rosehip oil, sea buckthorn powder, raw honey, cocoa, sugar, kaolin, activated charcoal, salt, and essential oils of lavender, rosemary, copaibaya, bergamot, frankincense, grape fruit actually. Um, anybody who knows how much ingredients cost know that this is a very valuable bar of soap. Oh my goodness. I, I am so honored. Let me see. I don't have half of those ingredients and, um, this may be a bad thing. I might have to order some stuff, but, um, let's see. I think I'm going to have to open this and I don't want to tear it. This smells amazing. It's called Love Your Skin. Now, some of those soaps that are out there that are good for your skin don't smell very good. Oh, this is pretty too. Love Your Skin. It has a medicinal smell. <sighs> but it's nice. Oh, I can't wait to use this. Normally, I have so much soap. I think might be the first one that I try. This love your skin. There's so many things that I've never tried, like sea buckthorn powder, and I think that's I think that's an East Coast thing. Might have to try some of our own um, um, local seaweeds and stuff in my own soap. But this buckthorn, I can't wait to. Wow. It's the lavender and the rosemary that I can smell. The frankincense, um, that has a lot of medicinal nourishing properties too. And being a natural soap, it's going to be so good for your skin. So that's what it looks like. And that is one precious bar of soap. If I were to buy all these ingredients, um, and her soap is <laughs> really, really good prices. Even with shipping, um, it, it was less than $10 a bar with shipping. So, I mean, that was absolutely incredible. I think they were like six or seven. Some of them, I mean, they vary in price. Like the, the Tapia Hope Hearts was only like $3 and it's a nice size little 95 gram bar. Um, but, uh, this one is nice. That's in the soap. Okay, next one. Oh my goodness. I think she sent me more than I, Wow. Oh my goodness. Valerie, you sent me way more than I, you are so sweet. Oh, I can't believe this. I think I, I don't, I don't think I bought this many bars. I think she gave me some, some extras. Oh, you sweetheart. I'm pretty sure I had to limit myself to two or three bars. I think it was three, maybe four, but there's like five bars here. Oh, there's six. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six bars plus, oh, plus the, oh my goodness. This is so, so sweet. All right. So 
this one is Shellbrook Farms Handcrafted Obsidian Lint. All right, so let me show you her packaging because that's as beautiful as her soap. She's done such, a, you can see in her backgrounds where she, when she's showing you her like, um, her flower soap, some of her beautiful packaging. Here's a, a close up view. Nice big bars, 170 grams. It's like five ounces. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, I gotta show you how pretty it is. Look at that gorgeous layer. Look at all the colors that layered. That is incredible. Obsidian, obsidian flint. Oh, wow. Now this one, oh, there's something else in the packaging. What does it say? Thank you for your purchase of our handcrafted soap, a good for you soap. Each bar is crafted with ingredients that are healthy for your skin, moisturizing it without stripping the natural oils to maximize the life of your soap. Keep it in a well-drained dish so that soap can dry out in between uses. Valerie Mosher. Valerie, you are so, so thoughtful. I have to read you what's in the obsidian flint because all of her soaps are different. Like she really, really formulates. She has some incredible formulations. Okay, this one has almond, canola, castor, coconut, olive, palm butter, oh, palm and palm oils. And then for butter, she has cocoa butter. That's one I have never tried. Shea. And then she also has tallow, vegetable-based stearic acid, glycerin, cocoa milk, jasmine rice milk, water, Greek yogurt, aloe vera juice, rosehip oil. See, aloe vera juice must be really nourishing. I have never tried that one in myself either. And there's so many things um, that she uses that are just so good for the skin. Rosehip oil, sodium lactate, that helps it be harder, which is nice. And these are nice hard bars too. I think I need to do some work. <laughs> Mine, mine are pretty good, but these are really, really good. Your stuff is so beautiful, Valerie. Oh my goodness. Sandalwood essential oil, rosewood, uh, no, fragrance oil, sandalwood, essential oils of rosewood, sweet orange, benzoin, alemi, alemi lavender, geranium, patchouli, cedar, bergamot, clary, sage, and ferniville. Oh wow, she must have spent some time just blending those oils and all of those, just that combination. Benzwin um, gives a kind of a vanilla to me, I think. Oh, that's really nice. Oh my goodness, that is so, so nice. Holy cow, I'm gonna have to, I will put my ribbons back on after. So that's Obsidian Lint. The next one is Sultan of Swing. Another good for you soap. I really like her soap. It's gorgeous. Oh, I'm gonna show you before. Okay, I did have a ribbon on there. Sultan of Swing. This is a little bat salt in there. It's very um, Disney. It's like the, oh, it is the Disney. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, mm, I like that. It's kind of fruity. All right, let's see why it smells fruity. Not pretty. How gorgeous that is. Even her top. She says she can't swirl her tops very well. That is beautiful. Don't ever say you can't swirl your tops. It's gorgeous. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. All right, so this one has avocado oil, canola oil, castor oil, coconut oil, olive oil, palm. And for butters, it has cocoa butter. That's probably what I was smelling. Shea butter. And then it has tallow, water, coconut milk, Greek yogurt, aloe vera juice, apple cider vinegar, maple syrup, sea salt, tessa silk, sugar, Kaolin clay, fragrance oil, guava fig, and neroli. <laughs> Yum. So I like how she does her, I just noticed something about her ingredient list. It's got the normal words, plus the Canadian INCI, which is required for packaging. Pretty cool, huh? I had a um, 
a wholesale customer asked me to just put it in normal words. So we made a sign and then I put it underneath, but I like, I'm going to do that to my packaging too, because I don't think she's the only one who wants to know exactly what these words mean. Um, and I teach this stuff. It's not like it's a big secret. And she teaches. She's incredible. She even, she even puts her formulas up there every once in a while. It's just, I can't wait to try some of her stuff. I really, I really want to try one. There's one design of hers that is so gorgeous. I've tried it and I screwed it up. Like the, the layers of the colors. It's her um, Wild Rose. I think I've watched that video five or six times. And I wrote down everything she did, <laughs> but I still screwed it up. <laughs> it's a nice pink and green soap, but um, since then I've ordered some um, Steph's mica. So I've got some of the proper reds coming in. Is this red? Look at that red. That is really pretty red. And she says she gets some from Steph's. So I can't wait to try some of Steph's micas. I had to send them to my I'm not sure if they're coming here or to my sister in Idaho, but some things I have shipped here and some things I have down there because I'm going down in April anyway. I may as well just bring it back, save on some shipping. Okay, this one is called the Green Ribbon. I keep taking the ribbons off, sorry guys. Green Ribbon, happy day. Isn't that pretty? I love how she's designed her and it's right on there. It's not a sticker. Like I was thinking, maybe I can do that with a sticker, but that is nicer. That is so pretty. Oh, that's nice. Mm, so what is in Oh Happy Day? Here, let me just let you see. It's Oh Happy Day. See, her tops are gorgeous. Look at that swirl. And these are hot process swirls. Just beautiful. All right. So this one has canola, castor, coconut, olive, palm, and then butters of cocoa co and cocum. And then she has a, she used a Crisco with palm in it. Uh, the new one with palm, lard, and tallow. I'm not sure. Um, palm kernel oil flakes, glycerin, water, coconut milk, Greek yogurt, aloe vera juice, sugar, maple syrup, kaolin clay, salt, and the fragrance oil, rice flour, and shea, and neroli. That's beautiful. Oh, I'm going to enjoy these so. I bought so many of them, I'll have to share them. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at this. Yeah, I've got a, look at how many. I've got one more, which I was really excited about. It's a chocolate soap. The Bastille Tapioca Heart and the Chocolate Soap, I think were my, my two most excited about getting, but the colors on the rest of them, I was really interested in the ingredients. Sounded amazing, so I have, to, I can't wait to try all of these soaps. I have six children and, and they are teenage boys. <laughs> Well, I have three boys and three girls, but so there's a lot of showers going on in this house. So definitely being a soap maker and having, um, and buying, oh, this is really pretty. I'm going to show you it before I, having lots of soap and, and doing my Lush, uh, fund all over the, all over the, the world is definitely going to get used. All of it's going to get used. Um, so orange chocolate delight. Ooh, that smells good. It smells like truffles, orange truffles, which are my favorite. I just, I don't want to break the packaging. So if I'm annoying you, I'm sorry, but these are so beautiful. These are going in my kitchen, in my bathroom, in one of my bathrooms, um, in a big dish. You kids can use them one at a time. So orange and chocolate delights. There's an orange tree and lots of orange. <gasps> oh, maybe this will be the first one I use. Mm. Oh, Valerie, you are so talented. 
I feel so lucky to get your soap. These are beautiful. Look at how gorgeous these are. Oh my goodness, that is, oh, that smells so good. It'll keep me out of the chocolate box. I recently discovered that um, whenever I get a headache, if I have a small piece of chocolate, it gets rid of my headache. <laughs> the trick with that, though, is stopping after one chocolate. <laughs> and we have amazing chocolate here in Canada. Um, maybe it's our cooler climate, but there's almost no wax in it. Um, I grew up in the States, and I was never really a big fan of chocolate because I grew up in a, a hotter place. And the chocolate mouthfeel just didn't... It was more brick up in your mouth kind of chocolate rather than melt as soon as it touches your tongue and flow into your mouth like the European chocolates and the Canadian chocolates. Um, this chocolate soap might just get me by. I'll have to try this one when I've got a headache. <laughs> I think it has something to do a little bit with the caffeine in chocolate and that, that chocolate... Um, the dark chocolate has a, a, a I, oh, I can never remember ingredient names or brand names or things. Um, so it's really hard to do um, impromptu thoughts with you guys. So you know what I'm talking about. That thing in chocolate that makes you feel good and triggers something in your brain. Yeah. Um, I recently discovered that worked for me, which is dangerous because, you know, chocolate is really good. Oh, that is beautiful. Thank you so much, Valerie, for the care and the work that you did so that I can enjoy your beautiful Love Your Skin soap. Um, good for you soaps. Look at how beautiful these are. So good. Let's pull them all out. I'm going to pull them all out. Hopefully not mix them up because I'll know which ones are which. Here. Here. each one. It's my couch that so doesn't really work very well. Chocolate orange. Steel. That one I'm not going to mess up. Which one is that one? It's a tapioca heart. It's heart shape. And love your skin. So there we go. All these beautiful soaps. Um, I can't do a close up because I'm Still shooting with my um, <laughs> with my cell phone, um, and I'm doing this all by myself, so I don't have any extra helpers. Uh, my husband works in the evening, so that's about the only time I have time. So anyway, thank you, Shellbrook, handcrafted soap, and the soap artist Valerie Mosher for the care and consideration and the wonderful soap I have here. I can't wait to try it, especially. This one's calling to me, and this one the most, oh, so gorgeous. Such a wide range from a medicinal soap all the way to a fun and, and candy scented soap. It's just, she's got an amazing company, and she's using some ingredients that a lot of soap makers don't use, and I am excited to try them out. All right, so this is Jennifer from Gentle Soaps. Click subscribe if you enjoy this review and come back for more. Once a month I will be reviewing um, different soap companies. Um, I actually purchased them myself and um, because I think, I think we all deserve to get paid for our work. <laughs> um, this stuff is incredible. I, I just can't believe it. Um, so bye for now. Click uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more of this content.